This is Henry Ford's Model T. Yeah, 1916. And it's a famous car, Fairbanks, because it was on the Valdez Trail from Valdez to Fairbanks and back and forth from 1917 till about 1923. So when the bridge came in it and then Nana, it quit running the trail to Valdez and the railroad was going to Seward, so things changed. So then this car went all around the, the creeks in the north of Fairbanks and all around town. And it was uh, leased to uh, Carl Ben Eilson from 1926 till he was killed in 29. So it's pretty famous for that. After Eilson died, the owner retrieved the car, took it back to his uh, shop, locked it, locked it up, and walked away. Never opened the door until uh, 1957 when it was moved from one garage to the next, towed, and then it was locked from then until 2006 when we got it. And you drove a Teagle from where? Yeah, actually I cheated, I trailered it to Eagle because the long grades getting here, you would go four mile an hour and that's, figure that out, how many miles? 68 miles at, half of that is four miles an hour. Mm -hmm. That adds time. So we trailered this one since it's 103 years old. So, so do you want to see uh, pieces and parts, whatever? So the way the Model T works is it has three sets of pedals, uh, a clutch, which is a low speed forward, a reverse in the center pedal, and a B for brake. And uh, this is your ignition, and that bar over on the far left is your emergency brake and high speed. So uh, this particular car has the original Model T horn. <coughs> Which is Henry Ford's, uh, what they call the shop horn. And that's the sound that the workers would hear in the Model T assembly shop. Uh, let's see. The engine's a four cylinder, 22 horsepower, top speed 35, and uh, runs the regular gasoline. The uh, difference between this car and others is that instead of one coil, this car has four coils, one for each cylinder, one for each piston. And uh, the uh, oil filler is here, carburetor is down here, and all the belt does is turn the fan and a water pump on that's on the other side. And the oil can is for all the little things that don't get oiled with grease cups, uh, even springs. Spring purchase have to be oiled. So uh, this car has has no starter, no generator, so it's all hand start, and um, it run, runs off of magneto power. And, on this side of the engine is the water pump, which is, uh, Ford didn't believe in water pumps, Henry Ford didn't. And so this was an aftermarket water pump, but it was a sanctioned one by Henry Ford. And then this is a horn, and the horn works off of a magneto. Or, I mean, uh, correction, battery power. The headlights, the first year, they were in production for electric lights, and they work off of a magneto. Consequently, when you're high RPM, you got bright lights. When the RPM slows, as if you're going to make a corner where you need the light, mm -hmm. they dim and flicker. And that's what magneto lighting gave you back then. So.